Welcome back on the update of the festival tracker part 2. Today we want to explore how far I got and what the current issues are. But first let's grab a coffee. So last time we went as far that the gyroscope was connected and the display was working so we could um, had a point on the display pointing into the direction of north more, more or less and this time I had basically everything connected together and more or less working so this is the current status as you may saw I got myself a 3d printer so I printed a case this is quite big at the moment but I needed it to fit everything and had enough room for like fiddling around um, and as you can see it is not glued together anymore um, because I had quite a few issues already. It's not as easy as I thought, to be honest, but all in all, it works. So I connected the LoRa sensor. It is sending the location out every one and a half seconds and the location is tracked with the GPS. This is also working and the display is pointing to the direction of the received GPS coordinates um, in comparison to your own coordinates. Uh, so everything is working, everything is put together and, and here you can see that it is currently working. So I'm walking around, uh, it points to the north and as soon as it got the position of the friend and your own position it points to the direction of the friend and also shows the distance in meters. Sometimes there is a glitch, so sometimes it shows like random a few kilometers somewhere else. Um, so this is probably because the data are not correctly received. And here we also come to the first issue. The LoRa sensor works very well if there is nothing in between. But as soon as you have a house in between, so I tested it in a yeah, living area, as soon as there was a house in between, I could not receive a new values, updated values. So this is probably also the reason why the other trackers uh, create like a mesh network to forward it. But to be honest, I don't think it's very helpful because usually not too many people have the same tracker on a festival. But I need to test further with that sensor. I also really enjoy the sensor and the LoRa technique. The second issue I had was with the 6M antenna. As soon as I put everything together and a display over the antenna, I could not get um, updated GPS values. So I don't know if this is like the 6M module or if there is like an alternative module that is working better because in the phones it's also working, right? So there should be a module that is working better than the 6M. The gyroscope works quite well as long as you hold it straight. As soon as you tilt it, it shows the wrong direction, but it is not that bad because usually it is in a 90 degrees angle somewhere and you know the direction at least in which you have to go and yeah and the distance uh, the calculation of the distance works very well so as long as you have the position it's super accurate it shows me the direction and the distance and as you saw in the video it was like a couple of hundred meters 100 150 this works super well um, and the direction the LoRa like everything inside a 200 meter radius works very well outside of the 200 meter range. Um, I did not test the LoRa sensor yet outside um, of a like living area. The display also works very good as long as it's not super bright outside. The power connection works also. Uh, I tried it with like a, this connector. So I got myself like a USB-C charger for the battery. Uh, I found the battery in an old e-cigarette that someone throw in the park please don't um, so I used the old e-cigarette uh, battery and I used the converter to up level it to 5 volt this also worked very well but to be honest this small battery was drawn in like one two hours so it doesn't hold up very long currently uh, whenever I'm testing I use like a big power bank this works super good also one thing I bought everything twice and uh, this was probably a good call because I, I soldered everything, glued everything together, put it into this case and then somehow I short circuited something and basically um, grilled some of the components. 
So I have now one ESP working with LoRa and as soon as I put the display on it or the gyroscope or like more than these two things, I get a brawn out. So somehow I short circuited something. I don't know what exactly I burned, but I somehow burned one of the components and I cannot find uh, the reason of like the burning. That's why I only have this one now working. Uh, the, the other one is just using the GPS and the LoRa to give me the position of itself. So it does not show me the direction or anything because yeah, somehow I burned it. The code I will link down in the description. Also in the readme, there's a wiring diagram. So if you want to rebuild it yourself, everything is in there. Um, the next steps for me would be uh, to update the readme to maybe find some better components. I saw many comments about other components I need to check out. So maybe I will rebuild it with a different microcontroller, a different GPS module, and the gyroscope, this is okay. So I would just replace the GPS module. And I'm not sure whenever, uh, when I will update it because I'm currently quite busy and also the parts uh, need quite a long time to arrive from China. Um, I also want to create a smaller case because this one is super big. Um, also have like a big hole in it just to test everything, to get everything in there. Um, yeah, and as you saw in my last video, I got myself a 3D printer, so I probably also will do some other projects in the future. Um, something I am planning is to make my coffee machine smart. So the coffee machine you saw in the beginning, you have always have to tap a button to see the timer. And I would love to have this automated as well as the temperature and stuff and maybe a counter of how many espressos I already had this day. Uh, if someone is here with some more C++ knowledge, I would happy to get some code review because uh, this is basically my first time writing C++ code. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. I hope you had fun. Um, I hope you rebuild it yourself. If you have any suggestions for a better GPS module, I would love to hear and check it out. And one thing many people commented like the price is cheaper, definitely not. So it's definitely not cheaper than buying the festival tracker, like the official uh, one. I don't know, the Crowd Compass is a bit more expensive, but the other one they charge like 50 bucks. I paid already 50 bucks for the two uh, sensor, uh, for the parts of the two. And uh, I paid over 300 for the 3D printer. In total, you definitely spend more time, more money, and uh, it won't work as well, probably. I hopefully get it uh, someday to be more accurate or be better. But at the moment, it's not. <laughs> so, but it's quite a lot of fun to rebuild. It's quite a lot of things that I learned. I definitely will use the LoRa sensor in the future. This is like a cool, cool project. And if you have anything that you would love to see, let me know down in the comments. Yeah. Thank you for watching, happy coding and see you next time.